Hi, my name is Louisa Granito, and I'm book conservator at the Concord Free Public Library. In honor of Preservation Week, I'm going to give you a glimpse of what goes on in the conservation unit where I work. I take care of books in our general circulating collection, in the non-circulating special collections, and in the basement collection. When books are damaged or falling apart, they come down here to the conservation unit where we decide whether they're worth repairing. Books from our special collections require more careful attention. In this video, I'll show you some of what goes on conserving an old leather-bound book. Here are two leather-bound books uh, from the special collections. Uh, we have many books like this since uh, in the 18th century and 19th century, early 19th century. This was the most common way of binding a book um, using calf. We like to keep the original library book plates. Here we can see that this book was owned by the Concord Social Library earlier in the 19th century, before it became part of this collection when our library opened in 1873. Before we reattach any pages that have fallen out of the, out of the text block to the book, we clean them first. First, we would gently wipe the page with a rubber sponge. Then we take eraser granules. I like to just sprinkle these from the can and rub the granules gently. This is ground white eraser. After the pages have been washed, I need to, to gather them together and reconstruct a, a signature. In order to make these signatures, I have to hinge together the two opposing pages to make what we call a folio. Taking some wheat starch paste and applying it to a strip of Japanese tissue. This Japanese tissue is very strong. It's thin, which is good, so that it doesn't add any thickness to the paper. And these two pages are now hinged together. Now these are the pages. Um, the first signature of the book. I have added a hinge which will be very strong. It's muslin and I've added a strip of very thin Japanese tissue uh, so that it will appear when it's in, in the book and the cover is back on the book like this. You won't see white mus muslin but you'll see a matching what looks like the original paper, although this right here is the linen hinge, the muslin hinge. Now, I will just make sure this is fitting. That's very even with the rest of the text block. Press it down here so it's hugging that joint. I'm going to take this hinge and slide it into this space at the cellulose. And I'll put it inside here. Slide 
slide this into here. I'm going to let it dry um, with a support under it. I guess I can just use this other look at the support. I'm going to let it dry here for a little while um, with a heavy weight on top. dry for a few minutes. This is the piece of leather that's going to be uh, used um, hinging the cover on from the outside. So it'll have double the strength. It'll have the strength of the inner hinge, which is the muslin, and it will have this leather on the outside. Um, this is a, a leather paring knife that bookbinders use for the finish work when they have the final piece of leather, the right thickness, uh, they then need to have the edges paired so that they're paper thin. Now we're ready to put the last bit, of the last leather strip into the um, this back hinge of the book. And you can see where these uh, edges have been. The edge of the leather here. This was the broken off uh, back cover has been lifted up and this leather here has been very carefully lifted off the back of the spine. Take this strip of leather and coat it with wheat paste. This is going to be laid into here, tucked into So the book is in one piece again. You can see that the cover is back on. You can actually see that this flyleaf is whiter than, <laughs> than the paste down opposing it because the paper was washed, but the paper is now much less acidic and it's better for conserving the book. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed learning something about the conservation of a, an early 19th century leather-bound book.